How do I start this video? I've been doing this for like four years, yeah, and I still awkward. feel yeah, I still feel awkward. I don't know what this sound is. Trying to start a <laughs> just peeking everything. And then like slide it on your chair. Oh. Okay, so this is my desk tour. This is uh, my 2020 desk tour. I've never really done a desk tour before, so uh, here we go. Now, I think first things first, this this nice chair here, it's from Ikea. A bunch of people have been asking me about it, but it's from Ikea. It's pretty comfortable, it's fairly inexpensive, and um, it's, you know, pretty versatile. I can go up, down. But yeah, no, it's a very good chair. It's on wheels too, which is also great. I've been wanting to host a bunch of jousting tournaments between Jake and I, just, you know. Uh, but this chair is called the, um, this, whatever is up on the screen, I probably, I don't remember what it is, but I probably couldn't pronounce it even if I did. All the links will be down in the description uh, either way. Now, next thing up, we have arguably one of the most important parts of this setup, the desk itself. Now, this specific desk has been discontinued by Ikea, unfortunately, but there's a couple of alternatives that I've kind of put together down in the description. Uh, white tabletop, very clean, very reflective. Um, and then some some dark brown kind of black legs. Uh, and it's a very big desk. It's also a very wide desk. I think it's meant as like a dinner table as opposed to a desk specifically. Um, but I love having a ton of room to just sprawl out and just put a whole bunch of stuff on there. It's great. Now I originally saw this desk in LA when I was working with John and he had like a whole bunch of these desks all over the place. And I learned very quickly that if you shoot light at the table, since it's white and reflective, it bounces upward and lights the face. So if you have someone sitting at a desk, you're probably gonna be able to light them a lot easier, especially doing the live streams over on the after show. It's a very good, solid way of just getting a lot more natural ambient light on our faces. But yeah, that's, that's the desk. Now moving up a little bit, we have the iMac Pro, which is my computer of choice. Now the exact spec I will have up on the screen right now, but this computer has been really, really great for editing videos, uh, just general everything that I've been doing. It's been a great workhorse for that. Now, as you can see, I have this secondary screen by Ozai. Now, Ozai was cool enough to actually send this guy out to me to check out. And it's actually become kind of a massive stable in my editing setup for a couple reasons. Mostly the fact that I get to have my overall timeline and browser down here and my actual viewing setup of the actual video up here. So that way, you know, I can just be working down here and constantly have a really big feed of what I'm actually editing up above it. Now, in addition, it's also really awesome to be able to just, you know, search the internet down here and decide to go into Spotify up here multitasking, am I right? I think a couple things to be aware of with this screen is, yeah, it's only like 1080, not super high resolution, but for what I'm using it for, it doesn't really matter. And also, I mean, colors are not super great, but I'm not really editing on this at all for colors. I'm just using it as strictly a utility, but you really can't beat something like this for the price. Now, moving next to these screens, we have my Pegasus, which is Basically 20 terabytes of storage for me to throw a bunch of projects on or edit off of. It's it's a great little lifesaver if you only have so much storage on your computer. But also as a, a pack rat at heart, I, I kind of struggle with deleting projects once they're sort of done and I've, I finish them. So I'll, I'll tend to take all of that very heavy media and I'll put it on the Pegasus and I'll keep it there until I can eventually come to terms with the concept of deleting it. It's a little bit less than advertised, but I get roughly about 20 terabytes of storage. Um, this is just plugged into the back of my iMac, and I can just very seamlessly transfer files, big files, from this guy to that in basically no time. But that's my, my pretty much main source of media management. And then these guys, which are called T5s, I've named a lot of them uh, after How I Met Your Mother characters. This one's Mosby and the other one's Barney Stinson. I don't know why some of them are last names. Some of them are full name. But basically I have like five of these and they're really great 
for just being able to transfer smaller or larger files for like either on the go usage or just in the office from computer to computer uh, in a really fast manner. They're definitely on the expensive end, but I absolutely recommend them. And then right next to that, my Red Mini Mag Reader, which this is like the fourth one that I've purchased. They break so easily and it's, it's not even funny because they're really expensive. So Red, maybe, maybe fix that. Just an idea. But you know, that's, that's where the mag, after I am done shooting this video, the mag goes in there and I can very easily transfer it to this computer because Reds have to use SSDs as opposed to like SD cards because they're, uh, they're extra. But yeah, that's, that's primary and secondary media storage right over there. Oh, okay. Hi. Uh, so, uh, we've made it to the personality section of my desk. I know, I have personality, it's amazing. But this is my plant, uh, his name's Jeff. Is it Jeff? Is it Jeff? Everything you have is No, it's Gerda. Jeff. This one's Gerda. But no, uh, this is my plant. Uh, very red, very green. I like it a lot. I water it every day. I don't know if I should water it every day, but I do, and it hasn't died yet, so... And then, you know, underneath this, we have my little Google Home. It's very Tiffany, it's very cute. Um, I might I might have just bought it because it was Tiffany for no other reason. Uh -huh. Hey Google, you should give me a nickname. Would you like me to give you a special nickname? Yeah. Great, I'll just use it this one time. You may want to write it down. But first, I have to ask, when it comes to nicknames, do you like them fancy or short? Fancy. Okay, let's make it long and fancy. Okay. Maybe put this on your business cards from now on. Oh. The Astonishing Choo Choo Fan Fleek. Yep, that suits you perfectly, I think. But, you know, I also have this little Tiffany microfiber cloth. I don't like the color Tiffany or anything, in case you were wondering. But yeah, those are, those are my, my personal things, if you will. They add character to the desk. Colors, I like color. But flipping over to the other side of the desk, we have a bit more color. So welcome to uh, a peripheral island. It's what I've apparently coined it. But this is, you know, kind of where I just throw my shit so that it doesn't get lost throughout the day of just like working and throwing stuff everywhere. But, you know, besides the, the sexy Tiffany Timmons lamp, Tom, Tommins lamp, T-O-M-O-N-S, Tommins, Tommins. We also have uh, Jeff the dinosaur. This is actually Jeff, not, not Gertrude or Gerda, Gerda. Gerda over there. See, I'm already losing track. But uh, little little pops of green, little pops of blue with this uh, little ceramic bowl we have here. Um, that's actually by a local artist in Cape May, New Jersey, which was uh, kind of a fun little surprise to see in a store. But this is generally where I just throw my keys and uh, all the little knickknacks that I gather throughout the day. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands or why I said the word knickknacks, but I did. And the next to that, I have my OnePlus wireless charger, which is a sentence that I never thought I'd say. The thing I love about this charger specifically, besides it rapidly charging phones, uh, is the fact that Ooh. the angle of the phone is pretty much perfect for just general eyesight. But basically I can just easily look over and see who's texting me, tweeting me, phoning me. Phoning me? It's not like my dad. Am I getting old? Is this yes. old? Yes. Oh, fuck. I had porridge today. <laughs> porridge is such a dirty word. <laughs> and then again, in front of there, I just have my sunglasses, my wallet, which um, I keep all my cards. Oh, wow, it's, it's a dbrand skin. This has to be one of my favorite things that dbrand actually sells because for my Apple card, um, they have this horrible Goldman Sachs logo and MasterCard logo on the back of the actual Apple card. And I hated it so much that I wanted a skin on the back of the card. And this is like the old robot one. They no longer sell this one, unfortunately. Hopefully they bring it back soon. But uh, they have a whole bunch of other really great colors online to cover up those ugly, ugly logos. Or you can buy any of their other most expensive products, cut it up and then put it on your just average analog credit card. They'd really appreciate that. Thanks to Dbrand for sponsoring this video and uh, keeping my card logo free. But you know, that's that's my desk tour. It's nothing crazy high tech, nothing crazy to look at. It's just pretty average and standard. And I like it for just generally being on the computer all day, editing videos. It's pretty zen for me. But anyways, thank you again for watching. I appreciate it immensely. Stay safe out there and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.